What's happening, people? You're watching Westside TV with me, Harvey, and today I'm joined by one of the hottest producers and DJs on the scene right now. It's DJ Fresh. Thanks for joining me. High five. How you doing, man? I'm all right, thanks. How are you? Very good, yeah. Brilliant. Right, so let's start off. Your massive, massive household name. Every, everywhere I go, see DJ Fresh everywhere. Massive. What was the... Uh, what was the reason you, you chose the name DJ Fresh? How did it come about? I was DJing on Pirate Radio um, back a few years ago, two years ago maybe. I'm not that old. Um, <laughs> and somebody was like, you need to come up with a DJ name. And um, I only got the show because I had a pair of decks and I let these guys kind of use my decks one night because their decks broke. I knew someone at this station, it's called Scandal FM. Um, and so they gave me a set on there and I was making music, playing the music and they were really into that. Um, they introduced me to like MC Moose and Kenny Ken, all these jungle guys. Um, and they were like, you need to give yourself a name. And I used to scratch a record that said Fresh. Okay. Fresh, like that. And uh, so somebody was like, why don't you call yourself Fresh? So I was like, all right. And that was it. Now the first uh, track off your new album, Earthquake, amazing tune by the way. Um, it's become one of the theme tunes for Kickass too. How did that? How did that come about? I met um, Matthew Bourne, the, pro the producer, um, at a after party for I think it was Stardust, and it was at um, Michelle Pfeiffer's house, which was pretty mental. Oh, Dizzy name Rascal. drop in. Cheers, Dizzy, Dizzy Rascal was there. So we chatted a bit because neither of us probably well he probably knew a few more people there than I did. There were some mental people there. Like President Clinton was there. He's mental. Yeah. Um, there, it was really this crazy party, and I started chatting to um, to Matthew Bourne, and then he called me up about a year later, and he was like, "My kids are really into your stuff. Um, what do you think about doing something for the new film that I'm doing for the sequel to Kickass?" Um, and I was like, "Cool, that sounds wicked." Um, and then um, he asked me to send him some stuff so I sent him Earthquake and he was like is there a way you could kind of like tie this into the, the theme music from the film so he put me in touch with the composer Matthew Margerson and we started like firing ideas across and we kind of put together a new version of the track for the film and obviously the video goes perfectly with Kick-Ass 2 as well Wicked yeah well I mean we, we literally made it like to video so so we would actually be like making it and seeing the video at the same time. Yeah. Which is like the way to do it. You can do that. Perfect. Now you're on the track, you're working with Diplo and Dominique Young Unique. How is it to work with them? Are they, are they fun characters to be working with? Or Yeah, they all are. Yeah. yeah. Diplo's completely mental. Right, who's the, who's the most nuts out of the two? That's actually a really twicky one. If you picked like any other person, it wouldn't be so difficult, but they happen to be the two most mental people that I've <laughs> um, I'd say probably, probably Diplo. The second uh, track of the new album in 2014, coming out very shortly, is Dibby Dibby. Um, the video was actually filmed in my nan's front garden. Did you know that? <laughs> really? All the speakers, or the massive speakers that go about 100 Mate. meters, filmed in my nan's garden. Yeah, she's actually written. That's you so weird. Did you tweet about it on Twitter? No, no, no. But I tell you what, she has I written a letter. Somewhere. She's written a letter to you. Really? To me? Yeah. Do you want to hear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> right. Here we go. Let's find this. <clears throat> so where's my money? Clearing my throat here. What? You stitched her up. Someone, she hasn't even mentioned that. Must have paid her to do it. In no, the here, we, here, it's, here it is. Dear Harvey, uh, I hope that the cream I sent you is helping. God, that's. That's for me personally, that part. Uh, can you tell DJ Fresh it was lovely having him over to film Dibby, uh, but it took me the whole summer to get my geraniums and lawn perfect, and now they're completely mashed up because of his speakers. Uh. Can you please ask him what he's planning on doing to repay me? Winky face, LOL, FML, ASL. Big kiss, little kiss, big hug, little hug, little kiss. Okay, I feel really bad now. Dear. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to have to go off camera for a bit. And just have a little, have a just cry. think about what I've done. I tell you what, yeah. that's quite good. That's quite good writing, considering she's got arthritis in both hands. She has to write of her feet. I've seen that gutted. Let me have a look at the... It looks suspiciously like your handwriting. How do you know? Right? Because I can see it over there, look. <laughs> look at this, like, this is Exhibit A. On the, this is Harvey's definite handwriting. Fresh doubles up. Exhibit B. Harvey's mum's handwriting? I, listen, she out. taught me how to write. 
Look, no, dude, I'm not going to take this thoroughly serious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, clue so. He called me out there. Not really. Her garden. Worth a go, though, wasn't it? Worth a go. We <laughs> <laughs> should move on. To the yeah, let's, let's move on there, right? Um, so the track, I, I love the track, by the way, Dibby Dibby. The, Thanks, the video's mate. absolutely amazing. Um, working with Miss Dynamite and also um, J Faye. How was it? Is the first time you've worked with both of them? Yeah, no, it's not. Uh, Miss Dynamite, Naomi, we worked on Gold Dust together. We wrote Gold Dust together. Now, new album's out in 2014. What can we expect in the way of progression? And who can we expect to see in the way of uh, collaborations? Um, well, I've been working with loads of people from like um, Andy C to Steve Aoki. To so you've gone Andy C, so you've gone back to the sort of drum and bass uh, roots because now we're starting to see you with more people in the mainstream. Andy yeah, C's. I'm doing, I'm doing some stuff, but I mean, to be honest, I just, it's really weird, man. I mean, I, you know, I love drum and bass and I just feel like when I make a drum and bass track, I want it to mean something. Um, and I just haven't really been that excited in a way that I feel like I'm honestly going to be making something that's like from the heart that it yeah. feels like a so I'm just waiting and, and I'm kind of getting that buzz at the moment from other things so like um, you know uh, Dibby Dibby's like a Moomaton track yeah. and I've wanted to make a Moomaton track for a while and every time I get a chance to like experiment with a different genre of music and with different artists and different styles of music it's like that's kind of what gets me out of bed in the morning at the moment it's actually interesting because when I put out on all the social networks um, I'm interviewing DJ Fresh it was all the old drum and bass people who started messaging yeah so, oh, right. right can you ask him this can you ask him that so I've got some questions for you in a little bit uh, cool. to ask yeah, you yeah, yeah. from the fans and from the fans from the drum and bass scene as well as the new the, the new scene as well this is something that I'm really interested in you've recently worked on a project called Mind Tunes with Smirnoff Ice yeah can you yeah, give us yeah. a little bit more information on that how did it how did it work how did you feel about it well we got approached by the Queen Elizabeth Foundation who um, are funding I think the sort of like experimentation of like disabled people using this new technology to try and enable themselves to do more with their you know with their lives basically in technology and um, they came to me and said would I be interested in getting involved in this project with Smirnoff and, and I was like that, that's literally like the exact kind of thing that I'm interested in I'm a bit of a geek like that yeah. so you know, I read about stuff like that all the time. So how does it work? For those of you that don't know, basically, MindTunes works. Uh, is it head apparatus? It's basically like um, these guys who are like quadriplegic or paraplegic and don't really have control over their bodies can put on uh, like a kind of a thing on their head. Yeah. It reads um, signals from their brain and converts it into, could be anything, but like a signal. Okay. So the signal could be used to move a wheelchair or to control a computer or to move a mouse. Or so it's for those that are physically not able to use programs on the computer. To so they move can... things with their mind, with... basically. Okay. Yeah. There is a track that you've made uh, with it and it's up on your website, is that right? It's um, it's on iTunes. Yeah, it's on iTunes. It's called MindTunes and... If you go onto YouTube and you do a search for DJ Fresh Mind Tunes, it brings up this really interesting documentary about about the whole what production these guys are doing and and what's happening with that. Yeah. Okay. Um. So the, I was looking through. There's so many names that you've worked with. You've worked with DJ Hype, Dizzy Rascal, Rita Aurora. Those three. Snog Mary Avoid. <laughs> Dizzy Rascal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, probably, uh, probably neither of any of those really. Mm. I don't know. I guess maybe avoid if we were talking about Just sexual kind of things. All of them. <laughs> um, and then Rita and who? Uh, DJ Hype. <laughs> I'll stitch you right up here. I've got to say, DJ Hype, Dizzy Rascal, and Rita Aurora. Um, I definitely give DJ Hype a bit snog. Yeah, yeah. freak him out. I reckon deserve it. Valentine's Day soon, Hype. Keep yourself uh, <laughs> watch out. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. Um, Cards in the post. Rita, I suppose obviously Rita would probably be, you know, but given that she's Calvin Harris's girlfriend and a mate of mine, I'd probably, uh, yeah. you know, I'll hang watch back. out. Alright, so Dizzy Rascal's out of their computer, you're avoiding them, yeah? Yeah. No problem. Right, so we want to get a bit to know you about you. So we we found out a bit about the tracks and that. Uh, I was gonna, I was coming up with games to play so we get to know you. I wanted originally to play a game called 
going out for a sesh with DJ Fresh. Uh, where, but it would have meant us going around London, drinking loads. Uh, you haven't really got a lot of time on your plate. It I probably have. is the best way to get it, to know. I know, him, definitely. Be we should do that in Cavos, though, mate. Yeah, let's do it next year, yeah? <laughs> yeah, All right, so I decided I would do that. Um, so I came up with one that's less time consuming and less uh, sort of it's not going to punish our liver as badly. And it's called Under Presh with DJ Fresh. Now, what happens is you've got 30 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Now, these, you've got multiple answers here, so I'm going to give you a <coughs> choice of two answers and you need to answer them. 30 seconds start now. Earthquake or Dibby? Dibby. EastEnders or Coronation Street? EastEnders. Football or rugby? Rugby. Beer or cider? Yeah. Cats or dogs? Dogs. DMB or dubstep? DMB. Rihanna or Chris Brown? Rihanna. Big brother or I'm a celeb? Uh, ooh, that's a tough one. Ooh! Both of them, man. Oh, both of them. Oh, Towie and Maiden Chelsea. Uh, Towie. Would you prefer to have a dragon's head or have a beard made of cashew nuts? Beard made of cashew nuts. That's 30 seconds, 32 seconds. We only managed to make it to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a good try, though. Cheers, man. So what? Um, but you could have said it fastest. To be fair. I was trying my fastest. All right. I'm not a drum is and bass MC. Is it like a test of you? Is it test of me? That was a test of you. Oh, all right. It wasn't. It wasn't a test of my skills. Yesterday, I put out um, on Twitter, um, on Facebook, that I was uh, going to be interviewing you. And uh, I had different questions from people, all from listeners on the show, which is hashtag the Get Up Show with Harvey. But I've chose the best three. So, first question is, this is from Craig, Craig Flint from Kent. Uh, out of all the artists on the scene at the moment, who would you most like to work with in the UK and America? Calvin Harris. Calvin Harris. Scotland, though, really, isn't it? So. Mm, UK? Not United Kingdom, innit? Oh, no, it's not. Great Britain. That's the kind of thing you could get lynched for. Yeah. Like, Scotland, mate. <laughs> he said that, not me. Listen, I'm going to go with Harvey's definition of UK, which includes Scotland, and that's what <laughs> Calvin Harris is all right to work with. Listen, I'm not a teacher, I'm a presenter, all right? <laughs> and America is America. America, yeah, and that doesn't include Canada. Who I like to work with in America? Uh, I'm going to pick someone that I've already worked with just because they were so wicked to work with. The band, Frey. Oh, really? Yeah, a wicked Isaac is a really amazing singer. Really? Okay, brilliant. Question number two. It's from Paul Jeffries in Trowbridge. Um, now, he, this is a drum bass fan by the looks of it. Are you going to do any more with Bad Company? And if so, will you do anything as good as The Nine? Um, I don't think so. I've like I've tried to initiate the collaborative vibe of Bad Company in full, but um, because of the relationship between the other three, it doesn't really seem to be an option. So, um, so I don't think so. And I think, to be fair, if we did do something, we'd be lucky to do something as good as The Nine. The nine's amazing, there to be go. honest. I have answered your question. No. There we go, Paul. Hassel D Bridge. <laughs> Bad at right, and question number three. Right, this one's uh, Tom Breen from Brighton. Uh, is it true that you named the track Earthquake because you had a night with a festively rotund girl and she fell out of bed? A festively rotund girl? Yeah, I think that's girl. a nice way of saying what shape she was. That's a really good way of like mixing three words that are <laughs> supposed to go together. Okay, let's start with festively. That's like she, Christmas hat. Yeah, isn't it? she's more like a Christmas pudding by the sound Rotund of it. Rotund fat because it's Christmas and she's eating too many mince pies. Maybe, yeah. Okay, so now let's look at the rest of the question in its full perspective. Go back to. We're just about to see how DJ Fresh analyzes no, questions. A, I'm just gonna say no. <laughs> okay. Because it's just easier. Finally, um, when's your album out? What's it called and where can we all get it? It's a DJ mix album. It's not like an album album. Um, it doesn't have a title yet. And it's coming out at the end of the year. And it will be available in all good record stores. Whatever that means. <laughs> you None of them exist anymore, but it's going to be available on iTunes. You can pretty much bet your hat on that. And get it on iTunes as well. Yeah. Thank you. That's amazing. That's been an interview with DJ Fresh. And you've been watching Westside TV with me, Harvey. Thanks. Thanks.